federal eviction moratorium is in effect. The CDC just issued it. The White House previously had said it couldn't extend the eviction ban again after a Supreme Court ruling. It's still unclear how the court will respond to this new moratorium, but the president says it will at least buy states and cities more time to distribute rental assistance. News 8's Chris Groh joining us live downtown with what this means for San Diegans. Good morning, Chris. Yeah, and essentially the way that the CDC is justifying this is because they're looking at areas with high or substantial COVID-19 infections. So take a look at this again. Uh, we can also tell you uh, that this is going to help cover around 90% of renters due to this. And so this is going to help cover a lot of people. But as you guys mentioned, it does remain to be seen how the Supreme Court is going to react to this. But the president was pushing for other states in the meantime to go ahead and get some eviction bans or moratoriums in place. Now, one of the things that we do know is that the state of California, they've had one in place uh, and they did extend that back in June. That's not set to expire until September 30th. Under it, funding for the rent relief programs doubled to cover 100% of rent for people with low incomes back to April of last year. So that's where that all goes back to. But even if the state didn't have one, there's also a county ban on evictions that expires August 14th. The city of San Diego's goes until October 1st. So really, this was meant to help states in which there were not bans on evictions in place already to help give them time to, if they choose to, put one in place. Now, a big large part of the issue here is the fact that there's about $46 billion in federal aid for renters to help pay their rent. However, only $3 billion of that has been distributed. So that's a huge issue here. And when we heard from the National Apartment Association, essentially they said there's really only so much of this that they can they can take moving forward because a lot of people that own some of these buildings, some of these apartments that aren't these big mega corporations, a lot of their live, likelihood, livelihood is at stake here. This has gone on for such a long period of time. We're over a year now and people's savings are being depleted in a dramatic way. And for help to accessing the rental relief program, you can go to our website, cbs8.com and click on that help button. Eric and Stella.